Hey everyone! We've finally reached the new episode of Skibidi Toilet by Dafuk Boom, and also the return of the upgraded Titan TV Man. And to be honest, I expected Titan to be a lot more powerful, because it's been a long time since he was improved. Anyway, a lot of very interesting things happened here. And now I will tell you all the secrets and hidden moments of this episode. I will talk about why Skibidi Scientist is a robot, and where is the real scientist now? What upgrades new TV Titan has and what phrases did he actually say? Get your tea and snacks ready, it's gonna be awesome! Let's go! At the beginning of the episode we see the same moments we saw at the end of part 2. And yes, this is where we all stand still waiting to see what happens next. Will Titan Cameraman be saved or not? And like I said, Titan Speaker Man comes to his rescue. He's not affected by the TV glow because he doesn't have a camera. We saw something similar when Skibidi Jesus tried to blind Speaker Woman. And it's still unclear to me how the Speakermen move around if they don't have a camera or eyes. But okay, Speakerman was attacked by a spinning saw right in his core, causing him to move away. Look at G-Man. He doesn't try to attack Titan Speakerman. Apparently Jimmy wants him to watch his friend saw his camera off. Holy crap, this is absolutely insane. Titan Cameraman has already sawed off one of the extra black cameras, and now there's a fire burning in its place. He keeps trying to saw off the main one under the influence of the scientist's hypnosis, but his brother won't give up. The speaker man takes a knife and cuts off the robotic saw that the cameraman took away from Skibidi Toilet. Skibidi Scientist doesn't stop and forces the Titan to continue this with his other hand. This guy is totally crazy. Check out how he looks at the speaker man like, Come on, look how helpless you are. Look what your friend's about to do and I'm very proud of Titan Speaker because he doesn't give up. He picks up the knife and tries to throw it with a sound wave right at the scientist's screen. But at that moment, G-Toilet realizes that's too much and attacks him with his powerful lasers. Just look how easily they break the speaker man's huge speaker and armored plate. It seems now he has a really serious weapon and this could be a big problem for the Alliance in the future. By the way, remember how at the end of part two we noticed this cloud? We thought that it might be a cinema man or a simp cameraman, but it turned out to be just a damn cloud. It looks like smoke from some kind of explosion, but it doesn't dissipate. It hangs in the air the whole episode. The scientist changes the glow of his TV to purple, and Titan Cameraman stops trying to destroy his camera. Instead, he attacks his friend and knocks him to the ground with one left. I feel really bad for Speakerman at this point. He was badly injured, but still tried to save Cameraman with his last strength. It wouldn't be fair if the scientist forced Cameraman to hurt Speakerman, I'm not gonna lie. It's also very interesting to note that everything is happening the same way it did on the suspicious troll leak. First, the Titans do something to each other while G-Man just watches them. After that, a new and improved Titan TV Man comes in, and I'll tell you about it a little later. But for now, let's talk about everything in order. At this point, I felt extremely proud of the big POV Cameraman, this guy acted very brave and shot two rockets right at the scientist's TV. Apparently he realized he would be destroyed after that, but he tried to save the Titans at least. It's weird that he didn't try to do this earlier when the cameraman Titan sawed off his camera under hypnosis. But okay, maybe he was scared or saw that the speaker man was going to help him. But unfortunately his rockets didn't do any damage to the TV. But the scientist apparently paid attention to that POV. He's like, who is that little mommy boy here? But after that, a really big boy appears and shows our cameraman how to attack TV in the right way. Just look at the Skibidi scientist's face. Oh yeah, that's the same fear we saw in the leak and in the suspicious video from Defouk. It seems the scientist has realized he's done for, but for some reason he didn't teleport away. Perhaps the power of teleportation really was in that TV or huge speaker, and now it's all broken and the ability is gone. Hypnosis no longer works on cameraman and this poor guy just falls on his side with no strength. I really feel sorry for him. I guess he's not destroyed, but he's in a very bad state. Apparently, Defouk has made a new intrigue for us, and now we will wait a few more months for the repair and improvement of the Titan cameraman, and maybe even the speakerman. Just look at how epically the new cinema man teleports. The wind is swirling leaves around, lightning flashes inside a black cloud. Holy crap, it's really cool. G-Man turned out to be a total coward and immediately ran away like a little chicken. He probably saw this Seuss video too and just knows how it ends. Remember how Skibidi the scientist abandoned one of G-Man's clones in episode 65? Now he's in his place and the cowardly G-Man has left him here alone without a weapon. I mean, he clearly has something in his... 
in his backpack or wherever he pulls his tentacles out from. But the TV is broken and the speaker is gone. The scientist realizes he's going to lose this battle, but decides to fight. But I'm not proud of him at all, it's just a puppet, he's just a robot with the face of a regular Skibidi scientist. I think he was just remotely controlled from Skibidi's base or something. During his first TV appearance, TV Man says something, let's hear it! I think he's saying, your life ends now! That's what G-Man might have been afraid of, especially if it was the real Jimmy. He probably realizes that Skibidi Scientist is just a robot and can be repaired or made a new one, and G-Man doesn't really want to try out the new Titan's weapons on himself. Look at the scientist's remaining guns. They're no longer lasers or even acid, but just two regular rockets. I think that's all that's left in his, uh, I mean, in his backpack. And oh my god, we see the coolest sword, and then we get the upgraded Titan TV man. We've been waiting for this for so long, and here he is standing in front of us, how freaking powerful he is. The scientist's two rockets did him no damage at all. Titan chops off the scientist's mechanical claws with his purple sword, and I think it's more than just a sword. Notice how the POV camera started malfunctioning when the sword flew near it. I have a guess that it has some kind of energy inside it. It's probably something similar to his core or TV energy, but it's very powerful. The scientist didn't even try to resist the Titan, even though he still had his tentacles and claws. He just stared at him in fear. But he's a robot, and it's unlikely he was afraid. It's more likely he was a bit hypnotized. We can't tell if Titan's TVs were radiating hypnosis because the POV cameraman put on protection before that. But it looks like Skibidi just can't do anything! Also, Titan has the new improvements we've been waiting for. It's multiple different screens to attack the enemy from different angles. And most importantly, the defense for the screens. Yeah, look closely, I think there's another one under those screens. Now if the TV will be much harder to break, and even if someone can break one of them, Titan will attack the enemy with the rest of them. By the way, do you know why he needs that little screen at, uh, waist level? I think he was testing it in that Dafuk video, and apparently the screen was effective. Notice also the stylish pants with the purple glittery stripe down the side. It seems TV men have good style. Like I said, Skibidi Scientist is a robot. We saw how the other Skibidi toilets behaved during the Titan radiation attack. But this guy just started burning and sparking like an old microwave. TV man doesn't understand why this douchebag is still alive and says, Still alive? He attacks the scientist with his huge sword right in the head, but it's a goddamn robot. He doesn't care. We see that there's nothing alive inside his head. There's just wires and broken electronics. And then Titan decides to show us his most important move, and I'm really glad he didn't try to attack the scientist from behind. Thanks, Boom! His core starts to spin up and gain energy, and then he unleashes a huge charge of energy right in the scientist's face. After that, something inside this robotic puppet was definitely destroyed and Skibidi Scientist finally breaks down. Titan says something like this afterward, by the way. I don't know exactly what he means, but he did make a huge hole in that Skibidi toilet, just like in the Seuss video. At the end, we see Titan's satisfied emotion displayed on all of his screens in the same time. To be honest, I was expecting to see him much more armed. I don't doubt that he's very powerful, but he seems to be missing some unusual weapons. Although we could see only a small part of his arsenal, who knows. Of the upgrades, he has a new huge turbine on the back, and a cool glove with this thing on it. It's probably a retractable knuckle because the other Titans have them. I think each of the Titans is worth a special video, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!